we've had our first on the mound puking in the 2024 season. Hunter Green. This breakdown is brought to you by Upside. First pitch of the game to Kutch. Now it's fully dark circle, 97, so the technology says that's a strike. They call it not a strike. Green's like, where? Was it inside? And the umpire says, was it he swing? And then he bangs. I don't know what that bang is. I guess he's saying it was inside. It wasn't inside. He didn't swing, but it's a ball. So he says, okay, I'll go outside. That's too far outside. We got a 2-0 count, a nice slider there under the zone, though. Didn't bite. 3-0. There you go. Strike. Three and one, feeling great. Three and two, another strike, feeling phenomenal. Do not feel like I'm about to throw up. Feel great. Throwing, str- oh, that was a little, this was a little, was okay. A little bit of a swallow there. Now he threw up after his start last time he faced Pittsburgh, his last start. So something's going on, trying to figure that out, make a nice pitch here. Doesn't bite on the slider. Didn't present itself as a strike. Leadoff batter is on in Kutch. Up comes Reynolds. First pitch of the second at bat. Fastball up and in. Oh! Throws up on the mound. Tough placement for the throw up. I'll show you more. Uh, Now he's going to walk it off. Like, damn it. Twice in a row now. I've thrown up. If you don't want to see a replay, don't watch. Oh! Suck it up. Oh, do it again. Oh, looks like all water, all liquid, walking out with the purpose. That dude just walk. Not the guy running. The guy running obviously has a purpose. He's the trainer, I'm guessing. But the other guy just walking out with a purpose. At the pitching coach, just like he's going slower than the guy behind him, but he's in more of a hurry, if you know what I mean. The devastating part is we got a puke puddle on the mound. Imagine being the pitcher sharing the mound with him. Like, dude, you puked in our foot hole? That, that stinks. Just a little puddle of puke right on the mound. Puddle of mud, cover band maybe? Puddle of puke? The next generation? That stinks. He's just looking up in the air like, I cannot believe this. And so is Reynolds. Reynolds like, uh, uh, is he okay? <sighs> Deep breath on the mound. Now I'm going to jump to his post-game press conference. He opened it up with just a great opener. I won't throw up here, guys. I promise. I won't throw up here, guys. I promise. Reporters are like, well, since you brought it up, yeah, we have some questions. Last time you said you overhydrated. You just had some water sitting on your chest and it needed to escape. Is that the same thing that happened this time? Uh, No, I can't say that because I did the opposite this time, trying not to have the same result as, as last time. You know, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and make a big deal out of it because I don't think it's a big deal. I love it. Not a big deal, man. I mean, we've seen some mound pukers puke before, and some of them have been like, it's a big deal. I got to come out of the game. He's like, it's not a big deal. You know, puddle of puke, whatever. Clean my cleats. They continue to ask him about it. They say, do you think it affected your performance on the mound? It probably, I mean, it did. I mean, nobody goes out there and throws up, and then, you know what I mean? It's not like part of a routine. It's not part of anything. Right. I, again, I just really enjoy that answer. Like, yeah, man, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and just be like, no, it didn't affect it. I pitched bad because that's just all on me. I'm not going to make an excuse. You threw up. Of course that affects things. So let's take a look how the rest of the game went for him. He said it did affect him. He's got an 0-1 count because people forget the puke ball was a strike fouled back it was a fastball off of that he goes splitter on the outside nice pitch Reynolds is like really kind of freezes him like I don't think so fastball up top for a ball slider in for a ball did not swing 2-2 splitter that's a nice pitch cut steals second base only his second steal of the season he's gonna wipe the dirt from his hands wipe Wipe says, ah, I'll just rub it. Oh, he gotcha. 3-2, he's going to go fastball. That gets spoiled. So now he says, all right, I'll go 3-2 slider. That's the same thing he threw to Kutch 3-2. This time Reynolds says, that's right into my bat path. Bam! Two-run home run. So you got a puke ball, a stolen base, a home run. It's not good. High five? No, you're getting bodied. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Next batter, great. 99 outside pop-up. Let's change things. Now Rowdy comes up, splitter low, fastball high, fastball outside, fastball high and away. Rowdy works a walk. That's a nice splitter low and away. I got it. India says I could have had it. I could have had that. So he's feeling better now. Okay, there's two outs, one strike. 
Two strikes. 0-2 pitch way outside. And uh uh-oh, Rowdy steals second base. His first steal of the season. Things are amiss. What's going on here? Look at that. Look at that confident lead by Rowdy. How is this happening? His first of the season, it was Kutch's second of the season. Seems like the Pirates had something. And what they had was, he's very consistent. His time to the plate, very consistent. It's 1-4 stopwatch time every time. So you can see, uh, he picks his foot up, right? And releases the ball. And it's all the same amount of time. So he's consistent. And the two things that the Pirates did is on when when he held the ball for a little longer than usual, they said, okay, let's go. Because that plus the 1.4 allowed him to run and just got into a routine. They saw him back-to-back games, so they were, they just faced him. The stolen base is hurt because now we've got an 0-2 pitch. It's fastball right down the middle, and Rowdy scores. And if he had not stolen that base off of the pitcher timing, he wouldn't have scored. So that stinks. An extra run there. 0-2, could have got out of it with the home run. Instead, stolen base, single, Now he gets out of it, and the start gets a little worse after that. But he didn't puke again. Oh, I got you. Don't even worry. Thank you, my friend. I can see. I can see now. Ain't that love? Look at this. Look at this. Please. And look at that. Thank you. The free Upside app gets you cash back on daily essentials like gas, groceries, and dining. There are over 100,000 gas station, grocery stores, and restaurants on the Upside app, ensuring that cash back is always just around the corner. I've used mine on Chipotle, and it's real cash back. No confusing rewards, points, or credits, just actual money you can transfer straight to your bank account. Frequent Upside users can earn an average of $340 per day. To find out how much you can earn, click the link in the description to download Upside and use my promo code John Boy and get an extra 25 cents back on every gallon on your first take of gas. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Goodbye.